I'll be honest with you. After building 25 plus project and smart contract and still was struggling to get job and internship. So I don't know what exactly you are developing, what exactly you are learning. Because if you build so many projects, you will have a complete understanding that what exactly happening in the industry. You can easily able to know the requirement of the company and based on that you have to build your project, you have to build your portfolio. You have to be very honest to yourself that you are giving yourself 100%, you are building the relevant project and adding in your portfolio. Market will not come to you, you have to go to the market, you have to present yourself that what you have developed, what skills you have, then they are going to hire you. Like the competition is very high at the moment, like everybody is developer, you will find a lot of developers, blockchain developer, web2 developer. How are you going to differentiate yourself? Why the company will hire you? You have to ask yourself. Like I can't believe that you build 25 plus project and smart contract and still you have no idea that what is the requirement of the industry? What is the requirement of the company? So you have to be a little smart. Be honest with yourself first. After building two or three projects, you are ready to go into the industry. After that, you have to search for the company requirement that what is their demand. And based on that, you have to develop your portfolio. Like if you really want to attract job, attract those people who are into the Web3 space, smart contract, dApp development, you have to present yourself in the marketplace. Like we have LinkedIn, we have Twitter, there you will find people who work in the Web3 ecosystem, founders. So you have to present your knowledge there. If you have developed your project, you have to explain, build an entire roadmap that this is what you have designed. This is how the smart contract is executing. What is the reason behind developing the project? What problem it's solving? So you have to tell all of that. You have to put your effort. Learning skill is only 30%, 30 to 40%. The 50 to 60% is your marketing skill that how you market yourself. Why you think that I make this kind of videos? Because I come from a non-technical background, I don't have any CS degree, but I have to show all the developers that I know the work so I can get the job for my agency. That's why I build this tutorial. So this is what you have to do. LinkedIn is a great platform. There you have to create your account. Post regularly. Every single day, you have to post two posts related to the work you have done. So pick a project and explain about the project that how you have developed it. What is the logic you have utilized it? How it's going to solve? And what is the difference between the regular contract and the project you have built? If you have built this free project, NFT marketplace, Uniswap clone, or some sort of voting dab or chat application, you are ready to get into the industry. Once you will get into the industry, the dynamics are open. Depending on the company, depending on their product and service, you're going to work in the segment. But if you are building this free project, you have the complete understanding about the Web3 ecosystem. And that's the only three project you need in your portfolio. That's the only three project you need. After that, you have to market yourself. If you think that I'm going to sit at home, I'm not going to put any effort on my portfolio. I'm not going to tell the people that I know the work. No one is going to hire you because they have multiple options. If you have the skills, you have to present your skill. I know I'm being a little brutal, but this is not how you have to take the approach. Be a little smart. After building 25 plus projects, still you are struggling means you don't have any idea that what you are doing. You don't have any idea or you are lying that you have built so many projects. If you have built a portfolio in that you have to highlight that this is the project I have included. Explain all the things which you have included in your portfolio, in your resume. Don't send your resume just like that. Make your resume properly. Highlight the relevant technology which company needs. So before you apply blindly. Take the requirement, take the requirement of the company that what is the requirement, what they want exactly. Based on that, you have to update your resume. You can't send the same resume to all the company. It's not going to work. That's not happened. Like when I get the resume, I see what is my requirement. And based on that, I simply filter it out. If someone is sending me normal resume, which is not relevant to my company, that why I'm going to hire it. I need an NFT marketplace developer and someone is sending me for a DeFi one. Why I'm going to hire it. So you have to check the requirement of the company. So first, I would suggest you that you have to be honest to yourself. It's absolutely unbelievable that after building 25 plus project, you have no idea that what you are doing. Forget about the internship, forget about the job. You don't have any idea about the development, about the industry. So try to be a little educated, try to understand and read the industry. Read the latest funding which is coming in the different, a different projects. Try to read them and check the requirement. If you go to their about us page or their project page, you will find all the details that what they are working on, what are the technology they're utilizing. And based on that, you have to apply. Based on that, you have to upskill up -skill yourself. Like the technology is going to be the same. Like some company will need different tools, some company will need different software. But if you have your foundation, means if someone is looking for a salty smart contract developer, so if you have a good understanding of salty, you can easily able to take that learning into the auditing field.
but it will take a little bit experience but you can take that if you're talking about the auditing you have to know the tools which are available like hard at foundry so we have tons of frameworks so these are the basic things so first you have to make your basics very clear very clear you have to make your basics again this is quite shocking for me that you have developed 25 plus project and still you have no idea that's really sad to hear so again i would suggest you that try to analyze yourself that what you are doing what approach you are following so whatever approach you are following is absolutely absolutely waste of time so try to redesign your roadmap try to do a little bit effort on the research section try to find out the company look at your situation and look at the project you have built when it's come to building a project you have to build an end-to-end -end project you can't build a simple smart contract and you will say that i have completed one project that's not how things work if you really want to build a project you have to build from start to end and you have to build the roadmap of the project highlight the entire architecture which you have utilized it to developing it and that's the thing which you have to talk about in these marketplace in social media marketplace like twitter linkedin is a two great platform for any developer if you utilize it perfectly you will definitely get a job you will definitely get an internship you will get definitely get a project if you really invest your time so try to post every single day two posts in the morning in the evening just do it for the next two months you will see that how many connection you will build how many responses you will get are you willing to do that if yes then do it for the next two months you will see the changes in your communication in your project in your thought process in the industry awareness will increase so that's the only thing i want to talk about it just think about it this is very important it's not funny i can see some of the user are laughing on that but it's not funny it is very important like you are playing with your career so be honest with that i'm not here to put you down i'm just telling you the reality of the industry if you not give you 100 percent no one is scared you have to give you 100 percent the competition is high in every single field some of you are saying that like there is no job in the web3 ecosystem just go into the web2 ecosystem you can see the layoffs are happening in the tech department it's absolutely insane so you have to be very good now you have to compete with the developer as well as the ai so if you're going to do a normal work then why the company would hire you the company can hire a small ai agent and that's going to do the basic work so you have to upskill yourself you have to upkill yourself you have to see you have to learn constantly so for that you have to make your basics very strong basics should be very strong because if you have your foundation you can able to learn anything because everything comes from the root and everything is connected with one another so if your root is strong you can easily able to manage it so that's the only thing from my end i hope you have got an idea that how you have to approach it take it seriously it's not funny it's not like just writing the comment just take it seriously so that's the only thing from my end if you have more questions like this just let me know in the comment section i'll try to make a video on that have a wonderful day bye, -bye.